Is this something you would ever give a girl you were interested in? Possibly. Really? It's not as romantic as you think. This is a bear that was born with its heart outside its chest cavity. <laughs> Look at the bear, it's like, I, kill me. Kill me, I want to die my heart's outside my chest. In terms of hair removal and can work on many different areas of the body. I use this product daily. I'm sorry, this is, you, this is your personal one right here. This one right, this, this one? Yeah, I have two. Could we just push that over here then? I don't wanna be near that. For I think obvious reasons. What are the reasons? That's been all over your body, right? Yeah. Okay, so well, let's just keep it over there. You've touched my body. What are you, you know, talking about? You shake my hand. Yeah, I don't think you've been, uh, I'm okay with shaking your hand, but this has been down near your pubis, has it not? I'd like that to remain personal. Has it? That you just answered my question. In fact, it's scientific fact. Our skin secretes oils. Those oils keep our body moisturized. In fact, oils trap a lot of the dirt that plagues us. The whole point of soap is it's an emulsifier right. that bonds the oil. I'm stopping you there, because I've been with you and I know that you're going down a rabbit hole and we're not coming out for six years. I'm looking for an apartment that will reflect a balance between my own energy and spirituality and that of the city I live in. Condo, one bedroom, two bedroom, irrelevant. Okay, and what does an associate producer do? I have various responsibilities. Okay, are you a romantic person? I believe I am a romantic person. When you first came to our show, you were a quivering nerd. What happened? I find with greater life experience, there's a greater awareness of the outside world and the inside world. What are you reading from? Is there a, <laughs> is there a script back here? How do you dress to attract a woman? What do you like to wear? I feel like it's most important that you're comfortable with yourself. You dress with something that will make you feel comfortable and confident. Right. And the rest is irrelevant. Right. Well, that, so not this, because you look like Jerry Van Dyke on Coach. I don't know what I look like. I'm not familiar with the reference, but I can tell you that I'm very confident. <laughs> Junk everywhere. Tooth. And gum tonic? What's this all about? Oh, that's a mouthwash. Yeah, this is like something they would have sold off the back of a wagon in 1855. <laughs> Why does that mean it's bad? What's this? There's food in there. What kind of food? Various kinds. Do you want to tell me before I open it? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. S'mores Pop Tarts. What happened to body fat ratio? I only eat Mediterranean food. From what region of the Mediterranean? Any smooth cupcakes? Are you embarrassed at all? <laughs> so you tell me what I need to do to see the mask and not sully it. So there you can see a uh, full scale replica of the 1977 Darth Vader mask. Uh, notice the two-tone black gunmetal design on the face. Uh, quite a marvel of cinematic sculpting. You know, it looks exactly like the other ones I've seen. I don't think uh, your view on this matter is precise. I find that there's a general consistency between the way somebody looks on the outside and the way they are on the inside. If you talk about the inside one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna pull your face off with my hands. Now I've noticed hair on many areas of your body that I think would be well served by this product. Okay, when have you noticed hair on my body? Seriously. Uh, there have been many occasions. Uh, you and I were in a hotel room in Las Vegas in 2004 and you took your shirt off. You had a disgusting patch of red hair at the base of your back. What the, what the hell? Did you really just say that? I had, a, I had a patch of, you said disgusting red hair on the base of my back? There is a bush of red hair at the base of your back. Uh, I want to hear what, what turns you on physically about a lady. Do you like it when they're showing a little, uh, got the headlights on, there's a little cleavage? The puppies are on display in the window. Uh, they put their moccasins out to be cleaned by the hotel staff. Do you like it when the, the two bald priests are staring out the highway window from the bus? This is uh, Jordan Schlansky's office. Jordan, I have to say, there's a bit of a contradiction. You yourself, clean, neat, fit, in control. Your office is a madman's den. You've got bags of just, bags of oranges. What's going on here? What's, what's, just random bags of oranges lying around. Those are clementines. Honey nut Cheerios. 
suddenly I don't believe your protein shake every morning. It's, it's a whole grain cereal. I have that as a midday snack. It's not a serious cereal. It's got a bumblebee pouring honey onto it. It's got a relatively low sugar content and it's made with whole grains. What's the problem? Explain the bumblebee. It's got a cartoon bumblebee on the cover. How can you take this seriously as a food Just source? Just because it appeals to children doesn't exclude me from enjoying it. May I remove it from the... Uh, no. No, you can't. Can you? Uh, no. No, I'd like to keep it, uh... In the case, as I mentioned. That's it, you're not going to let us take it out? No, there's no reason. All right, let me ask you a question. Why am I wearing gloves if you're not going to let me even touch it? Due to your unpredictable nature, it seemed like a simple. <laughs> get married one day, or do you prefer the life of a swinging single? I think it's a fallacy to expect that you can predict your future, but these are things I anticipate might happen. I can predict your future. You're fired if you don't answer my questions succinctly. To describe what's the spirituality of Los Angeles? Well, it's still new to me, but I encounter sun and air and wind. Yeah, because there's no air in New York. <laughs> or wind or sun. There are all those things everywhere. What are you coming from, Pluto? <laughs> you use this product, you enjoy this product, and you encourage others to use it as well. This product has gotten me out of many jams, and I recommend that every American character. <laughs> what do you mean? What? When you say jams, what are you talking about? It's one thing to say it's really good that I have an emergency flare in the back of my car because it got me out of a jam. It's really good that I have mace in my pocket because it got me out of a jam. Why does a moist towelette with preparation H on it for your buttocks get you out of a... What kind of jam were you in? See what a, a woman thinks. So I've asked one of our researchers, Sarah Bruno, to join us. Sarah? Try your approach on Sarah. How are you? Fine, how are you? You know, this is the first Irish bar I've been to in Los Angeles, and I find that it's really different than the ones that there were in New York. It's almost more upscale, and I didn't even know they were popular here. Now, what did you think of that approach? Uh, very talkative. Very talkative. I haven't been to an Irish bar. I've noticed this. I've done that. Me, 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 me. What are you, an opera singer? Me, 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 me. Uh, This is incredibly anticlimactic. <laughs> we opened a box. We're looking at two pieces of plastic. We can't touch it. We can't display it. We can't assemble it. That's correct. So this magic moment of television brought to you by Jordan Schlansky. Have you spouted this crap to a realtor? No. OK, a realtor is going to rip your head off, reach inside your throat wound, pull your lungs out through your throat, and tie them around the little nub of your vertebrae. <laughs> Say less. Mm hmm definitely. Don't shop at Kids Gap. <laughs> Physically relax a little bit. Yeah. Open up. Come on. Yeah, yes! Yes! Look at that. Yeah, See, that's... those parts move. I like that. Jordan, you're back to your pose. Look what happened to you naturally. You contracted. You I think know? it's important to be in a pose that makes you comfortable and relaxed. Sure. I know this. This is a Tai Chi position. It's called Rod Up the Ass. <laughs> That's absolutely unbelievable that you would say that on television. Are you saying it's not true? I don't know. First of all, I don't think it's a bush. I think I probably have some red hairs. I, I have a copper colored, my body hair is a copper colored hair. <laughs> I am a redhead. Have you removed the hair? Why were you looking down there in the first place? What was the circumstance where I took my shirt off and I was with you in a Vegas hotel room? What was happening? You were getting changed. Okay. So you were watching me while I got changed. I was paying you the respect you deserved as we were in a conversation. And I took my shirt off and why did you look down at the base of my back or the top of my buttocks? Where were you staring? It's a flow of energy. You can try to do your own thing, but in the end, the energy will catch up with you and take you where it needs to I'm go. I'm going to suffocate you with my hands. I'm going to put my hands around your throat and squeeze. No air will get to your brain. In two minutes, you'll be dead. You either go with the wave or you struggle fruitlessly against it. So is this all from Karate Kid 2? Where do you get this? Where does this stuff come from? Complete freak. Complete freak. Complete freak.